Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, typography wallpaper you see in my desktop, like so, alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop. Go to file, new, we'll just keep this measure in here, so click OK, now we'll make a background, so double click and the image in here, I will put a pattern that I will use in this background, you will find this in the supported file for this tutorial, in the link below, in the description, so just go to pattern overlay, choose this one in here click OK now we'll make a text so just click we'll just we'll just type piece you can choose whatever word you want I'm using a healthy chica no medium considered Okay, just keep using this. So now this I would just reduce the opacity for like 24 and then I would lock this layer in here. You just start typing okay, quotes or words that that's associated with this word. Love. Okay. So let's put it in here. Now we start like replacing our text so it looks nice. Like so. Just basing text as much as you can. It looks nice. Let's, let's try a long quotation quote mm -hmm. piece is the only about it's worth actually with wagging really nice quotes but it's in the middle like so
harmony. You can also change the change it a little bit thinner, like so. Looks good. Also change the size. Just keep this going, and I would pause the video for the sake of the timing. I will see you in a second. Alright, so something like this. As much as you add uh, words in these spaces, it's better. So. Okay, now we take this piece in here and make it in bulk. And we load selection of this piece word in here by clicking ok now first of all like I made this everything every text in here I put it in a group so so let's just duplicate this group now let's just name it text one the other text Now we load the selection of the piece word in here by clicking Ctrl, one click, and we go to the text to group in here. And we press Shift Ctrl E to reverse the selection, and by pressing Alt, we click on the layer mask in here, like so. Now we go to this group in here, text one group, and we'll add a blending option in it by double click. We go to color overlay and we give it like a light gray, like so. Click OK. Click OK. Now we go to this piece this piece word in here and right click choose rasterize type and then we go to filter blur Gaussian blur and we we'll give it three pixels we we'll reduce the opacity for like twelve percent like so Now we go to this one group in here, we duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G and back in here we right click and we choose convert to smart object like so. Now we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and we give it like 8 pixels, click OK, we use the opacity for like 40 percent so all right now we go to this piece word in here and we double click and we choose gradient overlay and we choose, we'll change the gradient we go to this one in here and we choose the background color 
and also in here it's white too which is the background color and we add a uh, white in here which is white and we add another one in here like so and we click ok now let's just reduce the opacity of this a little bit like 60% ok now let's just merge everything by pressing shift ctrl alt e and then we apply a blending option in it we choose gradient overlay and we change the side to radio we reverse the color and then we change the degree like so we scale it like this and we put the blending mode to overlay click ok now let's just that's not right just scale it a little bit more ok let's do the minus minus 38 yeah looks good all right click ok and there we go so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and comment this video and have a nice day